find a little leverage.
Hey guys, thanks for joining me today on this episode. This project uh, took me about three and a half months to do or four months to do. And honestly, I am so excited with how it turned out. It was one of those things here. Let me turn around so you guys can see it. So the finished product that I have here is still not quite completely done. What I'd like to do is finish planing the surface because I still have some bull nose that you can see. Let me get better lighting on that one. Uh, you can still see some of the bull nose that I need to get rid of. And then as I was cutting away the excess on my tenons here, I did hit the surface. And with how soft pine is, you can tell that I kind of dinged up the surface making things. Not that that's gonna change a whole lot. The other thing that I still have yet to do is put a shelf on the bottom of this. And I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna span the struts by putting a board between these two guys right here. I've got a sheet of OSB, or sorry, it's not OSB, it's uh, three quarter inch plywood over here. And I'll probably just put it so that it comes right across the surface of those two. I figured that was probably gonna be narrow enough that I wouldn't get a lot of sag and it would allow me to store all of my tools and organize them in a little bit better than what you see right here. So a little bit about my perception on the workbench itself. Honestly, this thing seems sturdy as heck. Uh, one of the things that I was surprised about is that with no compression fits, none of those pins that kind of self-drive to compression on the uh, mortise and tenons, uh, no pins themselves, no fasteners, and then also no wood glue on any of these, it is really, really sturdy. And you can see that from this video. Uh, one of the other things that was a better idea than I anticipated to be was the casters. After trying them out a little bit and seeing how well they move and how well this workbench moves around, but then how sturdy it is once they drop back down, I think it's going to be really, really nice for the garage that I'm in, especially because I can't really bolt it down to the floor or put it anywhere permanently, and so it should work really nicely to have that. All right, so overall, it was about 100 bucks for all of the 2x4s, 4x4s, and the glue to hold the workbench itself together, and then it was about, uh, for this sheet of plywood that I have right here, it was about $40 that I spent today. So all in, I'm at about $100 or $150 in on the workbench, which seems like an absolute steal to me. And uh, that doesn't include the tools that I had to purchase in order to make the bench itself. So I will include a link down in the description that has all of those tools. And uh, if you guys need to get any of them, feel free to do so. All right, guys, I want to thank you again for watching these last couple of episodes with me. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be posting a lot more content like this in the future. Sorry this project took so long to get done. It was a much uh, bigger job than I anticipated, and uh, life in all sorts of other areas got busy. But I'll be posting a lot of stuff. And uh, feel free to follow us on Instagram as well, at Northwest Craftsman. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.